Welcome to Order In. Today we're making some delicious braised pork chops with apple cider sauce. Pretty easy recipe this one. Order of magnitude is going to be about a three. If you can chop up some veg and drink a few beers while the pork cooks, you should be good to go. Today's meal will be cooked by my wife, the Pixie, and of course, myself. Let's get started. The first thing we want to do is get the veggies ready. I started with the carrots, getting them peeled. By the way, if you don't know, vegetable peelers work in both directions. Save yourself half the time and use both of them. Um, after that, I topped and tailed them, about six or seven carrots in total, and then chopped them up. It doesn't really matter exactly how big you chop them. Go for something like what you see on the screen. The biggest thing is that you make them even. Once those are all chopped up, we're going to go for some delicious onions. Top and tail those. And then you're going to want to cut them in half, as you see on your screen now. Peel off the outer, drier layer of skin, as well as any green that you may see on the inside. Do that to all of your onions and get them to that same stage. That way you can save the wear and tear on your eyes and cut them all at once very quickly afterward. Neat little trick, that. Once you're ready, uh, we're going to give them a slice. Not too many slices. Basically, we're again, we're going for evenness here. Just kind of get them into some hunks just like that. A couple times across the top. Once or twice across the top again after sliding it sideways or whatever. And then we're on to the pan. Put that to medium-high heat. And while that's warming, we will contemplate our delicious pork chops. I got these delicious little puppies on sale. Although, technically, they're not chops because they don't have any bones in them. But I'm still going to go with it anyway. Now, we're going to liberally salt them. I'm using kosher salt. It sticks to the meat better. And I'm a big fan of Alton Brown, so sue me. With that, we're going to do a light dusting of pepper. I say light because now is not the time for spices. That comes later. Thank you for indulging me. I use peanut oil to fry. Once we've had the uh, pan on the heat for sufficient time to get it warm enough, I detect that with my hand, you will be able to eventually yourself. Pour in the oil. It should begin to shimmer, which is something you will see. Try to pour cold oil into a pan and then hot oil, and you'll see the difference. Get the meat into there. We're looking to brown the bottoms, give them a little bit of color and a little bit of flavor. Um, I didn't get them quite as brown as I wanted to. This pan being aluminum, I guess, didn't want to give me the same brown my uh, stainless steel pans will, but I didn't have a stainless steel pan big enough to support four pork chops and the sauce necessary to cook them in. So I'm dealing with, as you will every once in a while, it's part of cooking. Once all of the pork chops are sufficiently browned, we will reserve them on a pan and get that fond off the bottom of the pan, all those delicious meat juices. If there's not enough fat to roast these onions, you might want to add a little bit of butter. I know I had to. You're going to give those a toss with a heavy pinch of salt to draw out the moisture to melt that deliciousness off the bottom of the pan. Once the onions are looking a little bit more dark and caramelized and they pulled up some of that stuff from the bottom of the pan, something like that, We'll give those a little stirring and then introduce a couple of forkfuls of a very finely minced garlic. Yes, I used it from a jar, so sue me. I do that every once in a while. Give that a stir. We don't want to brown that too much. We basically just kind of want to cook the raw edge off. I'm not sure if that's true, but I've always done it. Once that's done, we add our root carrots. I think they're roots. We're going to take the edge off of these as well, but a bit more literally. We are going to cook these carrots in the onions until literally the edges soften a bit. Once they do, we're going to add a nice big glollop of some spicy mustard. As you can tell, I did measure it. I don't expect you to do so either. Look at that and kind of estimate. Same thing with the Wishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishish
Once I've got that mixed in there, it's time to introduce the meat to the sauce. Lay each one of the pork chops into the sauce, kind of nestle it in there, get it below the water line. Again, this recipe scales really, really well. Just kind of adjust the amount of all of the ingredients to how many pork chops you're cooking and it should work out pretty well. Double, triple the recipe or cut it in half. Doesn't really quite matter. Once we have all of the pork chops nestled into that deliciousness, we will lid up le pot, complete with meat juices on the top of it, and place it within a preheated 300 degree oven for about an hour and a half to two hours. It depends, check it at about an hour and a half. If it's not done like mine wasn't, you might wanna push it up to two hours or so. Just kinda of keep an eye on it. Once you think it's ready, we'll pull it out. I was about to open that with my hand, realize maybe a rag would be a better option. It's not going to look too different, but don't let that phase you. We're going to want to uh, dig one of them out, doesn't quite matter which, again, and stick a fork in it and twist. If you get it to break apart like mine did, almost like a pulled pork, you're done. You're going to want to take those out and reserve them in a dish while you cook down the sauce. Basically, I put it on medium-high heat and let it cook down. Nothing too special to that. Once it gets closer to something that you're thinking, hmm, this might be good, the onions have fallen apart, the carrots look like they're about ready too, we're going to get ready some butter. Put it in there, get that pan off the heat, and we're going to stir that in. It makes a bit more of a luxurious, delicious sauce. Entirely optional, I suppose, but not in my life. Once the sauce is cooled just a bit, it will thicken up and be ready for the pork chops. God, this was good. The, the tender, juicy, delicious pork chops with the incredibly aromatic and flavorful sauce. It was just absolutely excellent. I served mine with a bit of mashed potatoes, some sweet corn. Wonderful, wonderful dinner. So ends the very first pilot, I suppose, episode of Order In. I really, really enjoyed recording and uh, making this work. This is the absolute very first video I've ever produced on uh, any kind of scale. And I think it's gone pretty smoothly overall. Let me know what you guys think. Like and favorite. I'll continue doing this as long as people are interested. And remember, why order out when you can hang with me and order in?